What's up guys, this is Yoran7, and uh, welcome to another little update video for the 250 million download celebration. Um, as of right now, there is no new update or anything or news. I'm just simply making this video to compile everything that has been discovered for the 250 million download celebration coming on both versions of JP and Global Doken Battle. Now, um, just, to, just to clarify... I don't believe Global is getting every single thing that JP is getting. I just know that they're both getting the transformable Go uh, Super Saiyan Goku and the first form Frieza Dual Doken Fests. As of uh, right now, it's not sure. We're not sure if um, Global is getting the LR Goku and Frieza in the middle of September. <clears throat> um, we don't know a whole lot about that yet. We just have the um, the typing that they're going to be and the leader skill and I'll get to that in a little bit um, <clears throat> but uh, I have some ideas of what global might get instead but let's um let's look over this here this is just the um, you know credits and everything I'll, I'll read them out special thanks to I seriously Kawhi team Dokener DBZ space um, and I'm guessing these people that are named here I can't name all of them it'll take forever but um, these are probably all the Reddit people, and I, I see Truth is in here. Uh, he posts on the Reddit a lot. Um, I could be wrong. That these, I think this is just Reddit. Let me see. <clears throat> yeah, this is people's Reddit pages. Uh, but yeah, these guys are all cool. They're on the screen right there. But um, Kawhi, I seriously team Doker. Um, those guys are all data miners, I believe, for for Doken Battle, and obviously DBZ dot Space is one of the main websites for. Uh, <clears throat> Doken Battle. I mean, it's not like an official Bandai website, but it's a it's like a fan made um, site that has like the best translations for cards. It's, it's the best place to go if you want a detailed translation. Um, DBZ Space is also a good place for you know for cards and everything. Um, I mostly use DBZ Space to check cards quickly, but for translations, I go to Doken Wiki. But Renzi runs the DBZ Space website, and he's also a data miner. So, anyway, let's go on to this. Uh, the next part here, <clears throat> celebration start time. Uh, there's a seven-day countdown on the 21st, all the way to the 29th. So there's already been a uh, the seven-day countdown started today. Um, okay, so 250 million downloads, info, new cards, and other events, both versions. So dual token fest uh, with super. AGL Super Saiyan Goku and Tech First Form Frieza. Both of these cards will have unique transformations. So yeah, um, <clears throat> as this is the order for the Super Saiyan Goku. He goes starts out as a Super Saiyan One. Then um, I believe it says for every turn they pass, they will transform to the next form. So Goku is Super Saiyan One. The next turn he's Super Saiyan Two. Next turn Super Saiyan Three. Next turn is Super Saiyan God, and then the next turn is Super Saiyan Blue. And then first form freezes, obviously. Starts out as first form, goes to second, third, uh, final form, and golden Frieza. Um, the leader skills are, for Goku, <coughs> actually, they're pretty much the same. Uh, so, super type, key, plus three, HP, attack, and defense, plus 120%. No type, restrict, rest, sorry, no type restriction. And the same for Frieza, except he's extreme types. And, um... These are pretty much the same as... It's basically Tech Vegeta Blue and STR Rosé without the type restrictions. <clears throat> um, and they do. we do have the final passive for... Um, I mean, the passive for the Super Saiyan Blue Goku and the Super Saiyan... Sorry, and, and the Golden Frieza. Um, Golden Frieza's attack plus 120%. Key plus 12, which is extremely high and, and not needed. Um, but a hundred percent chance to do a critical hit, and I'm guessing that's on both normal attacks and on super attacks. And he recovers ten percent HP at the start of turn. Super Saiyan Goku is attack plus one twenty percent, key plus twelve, one hundred percent chance to do a critical hit, and he reduces damage by twenty five percent. Personally, I like Frieza's passive better. I'd rather have um ten percent HP recovery. But um, here's the thing, I don't know what they're base stats are when they transform like you know that's what I want to know first before I really judge Goku's passive there 
Um, so I don't know if that means that they're when they transform, if that means that their their base stats go up or not. <clears throat> but we'll we'll find out when we get the actual card information. Um, and all the links and everything. But it does show the categories, though. Goku's on Realm of Gods, Pure Saiyan, Super Saiyan 3 category, and Full Power category. Freeze is only in 3, which is Movie Boss category, Revive Warriors, and Full Power. And um, here is a link to the transformation arts. <clears throat> As you can see, this is Freezes, And then Goku's. Pretty badass. Um, the only thing I'm worried about with those is... Um, how long it's going to take for the transformation animations since it, let's say you're bringing um if you do a, a t you know the rainbow team with two goku leaders and you got two of those guys transforming every single damn turn i just hope that it's not going to be a really long transformation animation or i, I don't even know if they're going to do an animation at all um if they do i hope there's a skip button anyway moving on um wait hold on a second what's this Here's a useful post estimating the damage for Frieza and Goku's fallen form. Oh, it's just somebody's making a um, damage analysis. I think it's that one guy. I forget his name. Um, <clears throat> Mobile Man. Yeah, that guy does a lot of uh, you know percentage, you know analyses and stuff. Anyway, moving on to the LR Goku and Frieza Angel. Currently, this card is leaked, but nothing is. Nothing much is known about it except for their type and leader skill. Now, this is the thing that um, you might want to save your stones for over the, the dual token fest I just talked about with Goku and Frieza. Uh, the LR Goku and Frieza, Angel. Uh, Frieza's the angel. Uh, Fri Frieza is dead, but Goku's alive. Uh, currently, okay, so they are a super tech, which is kind of weird because Frieza, I guess you could say this is the first freeze a card that's a super type that's really weird i guess freeze is a good guy in, in a sense in this part of the, the anime here um anyway moving on so leader skill is universe seven warriors key plus three hp attack and defense plus 177 percent or super tech key plus three hp attack and defense plus 90 percent that's insane. Um, that's the, the the best leader skill in the entire game so far. Even better than um, you know Elder Go Gogeta and Vegito. That's that's busted. Um, now I don't know if this is going to be a transforming card. You know, since you know technically, you know, wait. So what's the card? Yeah. So Elder Goku and Frieza. I don't know if they're going to transform or not because you know Goku and Frieza were, you know, Goku's base form, the beginning of that fight with Frieza against Jiren. And then they tra Goku goes Super Saiyan at the end to finish the thing, but um I don't know. That, that's all we know about the <clears throat> that's all we know about that card for now. And there could be a LR Jiren because in the promotional video that was leaked, um it shows them going up against a a, a Jiren, a shirtless Jiren. And he's like smiling. So, I don't know. Um it could be another Dual Token Fest in the middle of September. I'm, I'm guessing that's when these guys are probably coming. Um, so I'm kind of, you know, not sure if I want to save my stones for that or the Dual Token Fest. Chances are I'll probably, since these guys are LRs, it's either they're going to be a Dual Token Fest with an LR Jiren or they're just going to be on a double rates banner and be impossible to pull. But um, <clears throat> hopefully we get some more leaks before... The dual Doken Fest with Super Saiyan Goku and First Form Frieza hit, and I can decide. Moving on, um, we got the the friend LR summons. I'm not going to go on about this right now because this is already out on both versions. Um, the Great Saiyan One and Two, they're on the friend summon banners on Global and JP. Um, I have pulled all the copies I need on both versions. Um, if you want to, want if you want to 100% them and get them level 20 Super Attack for free without Elder Kai's, then you're going to want to pull 24 copies. And my advice is to pull 24 copies, feed 10 copies into two different copies. So get two level 10 Super Attack SR LR Great Sandman 1 and 2. And then uh, do the grind for 
the, do the whole grind, LR both of them, and then feed them into each other. Doken Awaken, the SR, uh, the, the extra four SRs at level one super attack. Doken Awaken them, um, which re would require you to, you know, farm five of each of the, f the first metals and then feed the dupe paths um, into the LR, but but use an hourglass or whatever, or just first do the dupe paths before you LR them. But anyway, um, moving on. <clears throat> Login bonuses. So far, um, only so far only known of a, of a piccolo that can fuse with nail under certain conditions can be easy aid. Here are the details. Uh, the, so basically, we're getting a piccolo in our gift box sometime in the two year anniversary. Th sorry, the two hundred fifty million download celebration. And this piccolo is going to be a transforming unit, which he fuses with nail, and he's also getting an extreme Z awakening. Um, his later skill is going to be. Key plus two HP attack and defense was thirty percent to AGL types. Passive skill attack and defense was fifty percent. Attack plus ten percent per rainbow key obtained. Can also fuse with nail under certain conditions. Transform passive requ recovers twenty percent HP. Attack and defense was sixty percent. Key plus two twelve percent attack and twelve percent attack and fifteen K HP recovered per rainbow key obtained. That's pretty broken, and that's only the the regular Doken Awakening or Rebirth. Um, <clears throat> that's not even the EZA stats. So uh, we have yet to get any information on what he's going to be like when he extremes the Awakens. So I'm looking forward to that. He's, he's also an AOE unit when he transforms. So that's crazy. I'm uh, really looking forward to that Piccolo. You know, he's going to be the first Piccolo that could actually be incredibly good. Uh, the LR Piccolo is all right. He's a good tank, but... Um, you know, he's not all around great. Okay, so ticket banner. Um, there's going to be another one of those summoning ticket banners, like they do in the other celebrations, where you get one ticket for every 50 stones you've used in the last year. So that could be restoring your stamina with, uh, you know, with 50 stones, you know, restoring it 50 times. That, that'll count as one ticket. Um, <clears throat> so the tickets are already in the database. So they will come. Date of the ba banner release is unknown, but expected to be one of the first things in the celebration. So hopefully on, uh, I think the 250 million downloads starts. Um, so today, so the, the seven day countdown started today. So I, I'm guessing it's starting on the 28th for overseas and it'd be on the 29th in Japan. So yeah, seven days from now. Hopefully we'll get the ticket banner. I could be wrong. Uh, I'm not going to watch these promotional videos, but uh, just look at the link, you know, this Reddit link, copy it into your browser, and watch it on your own time um, and your own accord. I'm not trying to be lazy. It's just I don't know if these are copyright. I don't know if they're copyrighted or not, and I don't want to get a strike on my channel. Uh, anyway, uh, there's going to be a bunch of returning events. Uh, Wrath of the Dragon is returning on both versions of the game um, the Tapion story event where you can token where you can get the um, physical free-to-play Tapion and you can also farm the super attack of the tech Tapion um, easy a kid Gohan event is returning in both versions on the 21st which is cool I think that's already out um, the hero extermination plan events the both both versions of that event are, are around until the um, October 4th, and that's where you get the medals for LR Great Salmon 1 and 2. Um, quest XP uh, is 4 times Quest XP, which is nice. All token events are open daily, and we're getting a Paranga Wish campaign again, and a login campaign. So, um, <clears throat> Paranga Wishes and Super Shenron. It seems like we are going to get, going to have 3 weeks of wishing more to Paranga, which will start on the 21st slash 22nd and up to the 28th plus 29th for the first set of wishes. And another two set of wishes will be available later. So I think that's out now. Let me um, let me check Doken really quick. Let me see if that's around. <clears throat> no, it's not up. It's not on yet. Um, that, that might be coming later tonight. Uh, at, t at the time of this recording. Um, 
The missions to get each Dragon Ball first was fall. Okay, I'm not going to read all that. Okay, there is currently a Super Shenron featured on the 250 million downloads logo. His presence and effect on the game is unknown. So we could be getting a Super Shenron um, wish. Don't know anything about that. A uh, new boss rush is coming. I think the both versions of JP, both versions of Doken. Um, the reward thirty five dragon stones. Excuse me. And we'll will and there will be an extra unknown reward for clearing it in under six minutes. So that's pretty cool. I hope that's not impossible. And of course, there's going to be a global versus JP camp uh, competition. And um. Similar to last year, where um, the winning um, version got the Badman Vegeta card. I believe he was an STR. And the losers got Yamcha from when Future Trunks showed up for the first time in the anime. Uh, they're both pretty much the same. Um, and, yeah, so it's going to be based off of the amount of cleared stages, the amount of training, Doken Awakenings, Total Zenny gathered, uh, amount of obtained piccolos, the transforming piccolo. Also, he might be one of those orb, 100%, you know, free 100% orb characters like the Ginyu Force and Tech Bulma. Amount of rank ups, basically, you know, count levels, and amount of frog items obtained, which is the Ginyu Frog, that's the new support item coming. Winner gets a Super Saiyan Goku card, and loser gets a Final Form Frieza card. That's okay. And uh, there is going to be a global world tournament starting on the 24th, which is next this coming Friday. And um, an Extreme Z Awakening for the Family Kamehameha cards are also out right now, actually, on global, only on global at the moment because they're brand new. Uh, there's a new hit for the top 20,000 reward for, for um, the world tournament coming up. And LRTN and Chowtsu are coming. It's also this... Int TN is also coming in the tournament. Um, Japan only. Oh, we just got the Great Ape um, rebirths for Tora, Borgos, and um, Shigesh. And there's also a new Great Ape Bardock. The, the, the R Bardock that we got from the original event is Doken Awakening into an SSR Great Ape base form Bardock. So that revamp Bardock events live on JP at the moment. Um, and of course, the JP update. I'm not going to go over that again for the fifth time. It's in my other videos. I just did a stream about it, which is on my channel. Um, last thing here to go for the whole thing is um, global um, Battlefield 2.0 has been found in the global files ever since the data download. Um, new Doken Fest cards are added to the database untranslated. Uh, this new, oh, the new summon animations are coming, I believe, on the 23rd. Um, 99 is now is going to be the limit for selling slash Baba stuff in the Baba shop. So Baba shopping characters and selling characters for Zenny is now going to be 99 instead of just 10, which is amazing, which will help a lot of people with the LR Great and Pusey Man grind. Um, new, new, the new friend system is also coming. That's This is all being released on the 23rd. Um, and the ticket banner... Oh, we're also we're also getting um, a GSSR banner and a GSR banner for global for the, with the new summon animation. So that's going to be good. We're you, we're all going to get seven free SSR tickets. Or, no, seven free. I'm sorry, sorry. Excuse me. Seven free GSR tickets, which is a guaranteed SR or higher, and one GSSR ticket. Um. Which will be coming with the summon animations on Global on the 23rd. And uh, I think there's one last thing. Um, there's two things, actually. There's a questionnaire going on in the JP version where they ask stuff for, you know, what they could do to improve the game. You know, little things. Just a, you know, a Q&A. No, not a, not a Q&A. Um, like a survey. And then on Global, there is a thing where you can uh, vote for the next Doken Fest character, which could be... Uh, from Universe 6, Hit, Kale, or Khalifa. Um, that is in the game news on Global right now, and you can vote for your favorite character. Everyone's going to vote for Hit, but I voted for Kale, so um, I'm not going to encourage people. I was joking on Twitter. I mean, 
vote for whoever you want, but I, I, I'm just afraid of people, you know, getting their hopes up and us getting another crappy hit card. And it'd really suck if he turns out to be shit, even as a Doken Fest exclusive. But I want a Kale Doken exclusive. That's just me. But anyway, that's everything known about the 250 million download celebration so far as of this recording. Um, hope I didn't miss anything. And that's going to be it, guys. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more, like the video, and comment down below. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.